Hi, Gabe. Welcome to Eve Innovation Could Talk. Hey, Eva. Good to be here. Now, Gabe, I first met you at a technology showcase presentation, and I wasn't expecting that the very first slide you would put up says employees are people too. Tell me more. <laughs> My background in software development has always been around um, like a B2C product. So uh, a product that goes direct to the consumer. Um, so if you think about if I download an app to my phone and it doesn't work, then I just delete it and move on, right? So the, the software that gets developed for that is very much for the person and they really um, tap into people's sort of traits and, and how they, they operate as people. But in, in the corporate world, it's like, here's a job, go and do it and execute it like a robot and all the emotions and good days and bad days and all those kind of things, we, we just turn it off in the corporate world. And so how do we engage those people as people? In your line of business, which is about smart asset management, there are lots of forms and data entry and data collection, which tends to be quite boring stuff. Are you saying it's possible to make it interesting? Well, it's not that you can make it interesting. I think you can certainly make it easier. People have got a job to do and generally they want to do a good job. But if you're, you're getting them to do tasks that become very menial and they don't understand or see the, the relevance to themselves or how it actually makes their job better, it's very difficult to get them to want to do it properly. So, okay, I'm, I'm doing a particular job and I need to record the data. If that disappears into the abyss of the corporate world and I see no value to that, this is boring, it's horrible, it sucks. But if I see some data fed back to me that actually it makes my life easier, and maybe it's to do with the automated planning of my next job, or I realize that there's a piece of data there that I put in that will tell me that for this piece of equipment or this task, it'll automatically tell me when I need to do it again. How do we feed that data back to the employee to make it valuable and then get their engagement because they actually understand the value of what they're doing, not just, hey, I'm collecting data for some corporate report that I'll never see. That tends to be, I have to do it. I'm employed to do that. Yeah. That's my job. Give me an example so that I can understand better what you mean. With XTAG, we implement it for managing the, uh, the security inspections of a whole bunch of houses in a town. Now, the requirement for these security guards was, I need to go and inspect every vacant house once every seven days. Now, there was about 1,500 houses in this town, and there was about 400 houses at any time that were, were vacant, but that would change. So the requirement that they had to do was, you know, check to see whether the bins were out or whether there was a broken window or maybe there was damage to the property, and then a security guard would one have to figure out which were the vacant houses that they had to inspect so maybe there was a spreadsheet somewhere that they had to work with then they had to go well which ones have i inspected in the last seven days and have i done that one and, and where is it and what is it it starts to get quite complicated so with xtag what we did is we automated that whole process into a sort of a a visual representation of it so we had a map with a whole series of pins on it and we had this concept called um, turn the red pins green. So we had red pins and green pins. The red pins was on every single house that the security guard had to go and inspect. And they went up to that house, they'd scan a tag, do their inspection, the form would guide them through the process. And because the form was flexible, it if, if they discovered a broken window, for example, and they, they put in broken window, you selected that option, it was said, tell them exactly what they need to do. Oh, you need to send a text message to the on-call number for whatever it may have been. And then all they had to do then was open up the map and go, right, where's the next red pin? And they'll drive to it. And that whole complexity of how do I manage my work is just taken away and they can focus on just doing their job. And naturally people will want to do the work that's closest to the area. So if I go to a certain area and there's a, a series of pins that I need to do, but maybe I don't need to do this one yet. I'll do it because I'm there. And so the work starts to self-organize, uh, if you will. And so just by the nature of human behavior, it starts to optimize their own work. So this is super interesting. Usually we see data fed to the head office as a live dashboard just for the head office to keep track of what's going on. 
But yeah. what you are saying, you can also feed the data back to the people who are using it right at the very moment so they can make the decision best on how to do their jobs better and more efficiently there and then. Yep, 100%.